Hey, happy campers, and welcome to 30 Days of Yoga Camp. I'm Adrian, and it's day 29, and I'm super stoked because today's mantra is what it's all about. This is what yoga camp is all about, so I'm gonna need you to be a great team player today and say it loud and say it proud. I love, I love myself. Let's get started. Today we're going to begin in a nice, comfortable seat of your choice. And we're going to draw the palms to the heart when you get there. And we are going to start right away with this mantra today. This is what yoga camp is all about. I love. Who do you love? Are you sure? Sit up nice and tall, get it settled in, and begin to notice your breath. And repeat the mantra to yourself quietly. I love. I know this might be a little hokey, it might be a little cheesy for you, there's you know, tons of different people practicing this yoga camp, so just see if you can connect with something that is meaningful to you. Maybe it is simply just I love. Maybe it's I love where I'm at today. I love that I'm taking this time for me. I love that I never thought I would be doing yoga in my life and here I am uh, doing yoga, day 29, which happens to be my lucky number. I love. Think about all the things that you love. Finish that sentence. And then notice how it makes you feel. And if you're fidgety today or you're not connecting, that's cool too. Just notice where you're at today. And everyone, let's start to deepen the breath. And then gently bow your head to your heart. The mind intelligence with the body intelligence, the heart. Big breath in. Big breath out to release. We're going to come right onto all fours. I love. Come into your tabletop position. And then when you're ready, cat cow, dropping the belly, inhale, heart forward. You know what to do here, moving with your breath. See if you can welcome that ujjayi breath in here, inhaling. Awesome. Then from here, we're gonna go to heart to earth pose. So drop the elbows right where the hands were. Keep a nice strong foundation here. So press into the base of the palm and then slowly walk the knees back. See if you can keep your knees in line with your hip points, elbows in line with your shoulders, and then wrists in line with your elbows. I know it's a lot. And we begin to open up through the heart here, the shoulders, the pelvis rocks up high, and we breathe deep, pressing into all 10 knuckles, all 10 fingerprints, melting the heart down towards the earth. Big heart opener here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you want to rock gently on the forehead, Maybe that would feel good. Hmm. And press into the tops of the feet, press into the elbows, press into your foundation, mindful of the knees here as you slowly come through. Then we'll slide the palms, tug them underneath the shoulders, loop the shoulders and inhale, baby cobra. And then slowly release. <clears throat> come back to all fours. Curl the toes under, and then see if you can come up into this downward dog today from your tail. Whatever that means to you. So lift up. I like the image of a, like a mama pulling up a baby from the tail. <laughs> There's that only child brain again. Downward facing dog. 
So really see if you can point your tail up high. So bend the knees if you need to, find that action. Melt your heart back, then melt your thighs back. And then go for a nice slow walk up towards the front edge. Take your time, forward fold. And find what feels good here, clasping the elbows, drawing um, lines with the fingertips. Sometimes in class I say, trace the name of someone you love. And so today would actually be a good day for that. Based on our mantra and the affirmation, I love, you might write the name of someone you love. Maybe draw a shape. Just keep it alive and well, creative. Okay. And then bend the knees generously. Waking up the lower body and bringing a little heat. So I'm a little chilly today and so... I'm going to bring the chair pose to you early on in the practice and also just to change it up a little bit. So bend the knees generously, send the hips back, reach your fingertips forward. <sighs> Sorry, plant. And then find a little counter of weight as you send the hips back and the fingertips forward. Open in the chest. One more time. Hips back, fingertips forward. Get down low, create a little heat. And then press into your foundation and power through the legs to lift your heart. Lift the fingertips up towards the sky. Full body stretch. And then exhale. Fingertips down. Good. Loop the shoulders a couple times here. And then bring the fingertips to the shoulders and continue. Big circles with the elbows. And now full out, <laughs> fingertips drawing big circles, opening through the chest, open through the shoulders. On your next inhale, reach it up. Exhale, down you go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, slide it down. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Soft knees here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, enjoy this move. Down you go. <sighs> Inhale in. Exhale, full. Again, reaching for the sky. And exhaling, hands to heart. <sighs> okay, same little ditty. Now see if you can start to connect and thread in that ujjayi breath. Ready? Soft knees moving with the sound of the breath. Inhale. Exhale with ujjayi breath down. Just try, just do your best. Inhale, halfway lift. On your exhale, fold. Inhale, reach for the sky, big breath. Exhale, hands to heart. So keep playing with that ujjayi breath. We'll see what happens. Ready? Soft knees. Inhale. Reach it up. Exhale. <laughs> I'm laughing at the way I said that. Inhale. Exhale. Good. This time, plant the palms. Step both toes back, or you can hop to your plank. Take a second here to stretch it out. Find strength from within. Find support with your alignment. And then slowly lower down, all the way down. Belly to cobra. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, press back up to your plank strong. Then anchor navel to spine. Come up on your toes and send it back. Down dog. Great. Drop the left heel. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot up and in. Feel free to squeeze nose to knee, connect to that core strength. Let me come to our low lunge. Inhale, heart radiates forward. Exhale, lower the back knee, pull the right hip crease back, runner stretch. Inhale, rolling through, back to your low lunge. Exhale, plant the palms, move through vinyasa. Belly to cobra, or now playing with chaturanga to up dog. Use your exhale, send it back, down dog. 
Drop the right heel, lift the right, left leg up high. <laughs> and exhale, step it up and into your lunge. Inhale, low lunge as you lift your heart. Exhale, lower the back knee, send the left hip crease back, runner stretch. Inhale, rolling forward, tug the shoulders back. Come back to your low lunge. And then plant the palms, move with your breath through your vinyasa here, nice and strong. From down dog, hop, jump, float to the top or step the feet right up in between the hands. Everyone forward fold. Inhale, move with your breath, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, inhale, reach it up, keep it going. Exhale, down you go. Work on that ujjayi breath here as you inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Plant the palms, step or hop it back to plank. Slowly lower down, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Open the chest. Great, send it to down dog. And we'll drop the left heel, lift the right leg high and step it up into your lunge. Beautiful, inhale, lie it on the fingertips. Exhale, pivot on the back foot. Take it all the way up to warrior two. Inhale. Focus, out beyond the right fingertips, nice and strong. Cultivating that ujjayi breath here. And then we're gonna straighten through the, through the front leg, reach the right fingertips all the way up and over, stretch. Lengthen through the right side body. Keep this length in the right side body as you then begin to tilt, hips back, reaching fingertips all the way forward and down, triangle trikonasana. Remember smearing of the honey. Remember all your organization of the torso and the spine. Connect to the energetic body. Big breath in here. And then exhale. Slowly bring the left fingertips down. Fingertips frame the front leg. And we step the back foot in halfway for pyramid pose. Draw the chin to the chest here. Keep breathing. Now either stay here or slowly shift your left fingertips to the outer edge of your right foot. If you have a block here, it's handy. Or to the outer edge of the right shin. Press in your foundation, hug the inner thighs in the midline and come to a reverse triangle here. So this is just an option. If you've never done reverse triangle, you can just stay in the pyramid. Or maybe give it a try, opening the right fingertips up towards the sky. Inhale in, everyone exhale, gaze back down and soften through the standing leg and shoot your left toes back to your low lunge. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, let the love flow. Same little dance on the other side. Drop the right heel, lift the left leg high. Squeeze it up and into your lunge. Find your nice low lunge here, stretch the legs. Let that information trickle up through the spine. Open your heart. And from here, pivot on the back foot. Warrior two as we open up. Strong focus out beyond the left fingertips. Strong legs. Strong foundation. Press into all four corners of the feet as you straighten that front leg and left fingertips reach all the way up and back. Now keep this stretch, this length in the left side body as you move into your triangle as long as you can. Inhale, exhale, hips back, keep this length. Triangle pose. Inhale in, exhale, right fingertips come down. And we frame the left foot with the fingertips. Soften through the standing leg, step the right foot halfway up, and then we straighten through both legs here, pyramid pose. Stay in pyramid. 
or we play with a little reverse triangle, bringing the right fingertips now to the outer edge of the left foot. Strong foundation here, hugging into the midline, and maybe we open up. Breathing deep, extension through the crown. Man, I haven't done a reverse triangle in a while. Wonder why. <laughs> Inhale in, exhale, meeting back at the pyramid pose. Then everyone gaze down, soften through your left knee, and then just trust as you slide your right toes back out to your lunge. Open the heart, inhale in, smile. Exhale, plant the palms, let the love flow. Let the love flow with. Send it up to down dog. And stick with me as you slowly walk it to the front, forward fold, or bend the knees, hop, jump, float to the top. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Bend the knees generously, belly comes to the tops of the thighs. Give yourself a little bit of space between the heels. Send the hips back, fingertips forward. Connect to your strength. You are fierce, you are strong. It's why we're here. A little transformation of energy. The body responds to that. <sighs> Dream body, all of a sudden, here you are. Here I come. Big breath in, big breath out. Sink a little lower, big breath in, big breath out as you straighten the legs and reach the arms up. And then slowly releasing hands to heart. And taking a second here to catch your breath. Notice how you feel. Close your eyes. Say the mantra. I love. I love that I'm on my yoga mat. Finish the sentence. I love and accept myself where I am today. I'm like, why can't it be like, I love my new yoga pants. <laughs> they inspire me to get on my mat. Like, let, let's stop being so judgy, McJudgerson, about everything and just connect to what feels good and start connecting the mind and body to that. Yoga camp, here we go. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, ujjayi down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, step or hop it back. And then here we go. <clears throat> right hand to the center line, slowly tilting onto the sides of the feet once again. Another try at this, guys. We lift the hips. And you can either stack the feet here as you open the left fingertips up, or feel free to bend the top leg for a little support here as you build strength. Now, today we're going to take the left fingertips forward and then all the way up and overhead. Think extended side angle here, lengthen through the crown. So we're here with the top knee bent, or maybe we're stacked here. Maybe another variation you love, take one more breath. Imagine a fireball just shooting out of the crown of the head here, big breath. And then exhale, whoa, slowly release. Take a rest on the knees if you need to, and we'll take it to the other side. Play here, stacking the feet. Again, we can bend the top leg, bring the sole of the right foot to the earth. Everyone lift your hips. And then we'll send the right fingertips forward, plug that shoulder in, and then all the way up towards the front edge of the mat. Lengthen through the crown, navel draws in. Big breath. And then slowly release. Awesome, optional vinyasa here, otherwise slowly lower to the knees and send it back, child's pose. And slowly release the hands to the earth, and we'll come back to all fours. Walk the knees hip width apart, so right underneath the hip points actually, pressing in the tops of the feet, and then slowly we're gonna walk the fingertips, what's up, crickety old floor, all the way up the knees. The thighs, the hips. Uh -huh. okay. So we're headed into um, a camel pose, a back bend. So pressing into strong foundation here. You don't have to go into the full pose. In fact, be really mindful. And if you know, if you're new to the practice, maybe just kind of start small and save the full expression for 
another day, another year. So we'll start just by looping the shoulders, letting go of any tension in the head, the neck, and also giving yourself a chance to really engage through the tops of the feet. So see if you can even press into your pinky toe. Oh, it's hard. And then fingertips come to the shoulders again and big circles with the elbows. Mm, great to open up the shoulders here, but also to find that lift and the lengthen through the side body. And then even bigger circles full out. Connecting to the line from the crown to the tail. Then on your next full out move, take the hands behind the back body, first fingertips down. And try to draw the elbows together, loop the shoulders. And this might be your pose today, lengthening the tailbone down, finding a little lift in the front body. Maybe it's just a slight leaning back. Mm, this is good, you can feel it. If you feel like you'd like to go a little further, take Take your microphone, put it to the side. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Take your hands and flip your fingertips so that they're up. So I'm gonna turn. So we're here and now I'm moving up. So pressing into the base of the palm if you're making that switch there. And lengthening the tailbone down as you begin to open up through the front body. And here we are, really using the palms here, pressing into the tops of the feet, opening up through the heart and chest. This might be your pose here. Press into your thumbs. Hmm. Or you might release the right fingertips down to the right heel, one at a time. Left fingertips down to the left heel. Pressing into the tops of the feet, opening up through the front body, nice and aware in the neck as you inhale in. Exhale, stay connected. And maybe you're familiar with camel and you are able to release the crown of the head down. Hips move forward, we breathe deep here. Let's come out of the pose. Uh, make your way back the same way you came in, one hand at a time. And slowly pressing into the tops of the feet, stacking head over heart, heart over pelvis here. Beautiful, stay here, curl the toes under and send the hips back onto the heels. So come here before you go into child's pose. Palms can come to the tops of the thighs. Big breath in and out here. And then we can walk the knees together, come off the toes, and come into our child's pose. Rad, radical, beautiful. Big breath in, big breath out. Great, slowly reach the fingertips up, press into the palms. We're gonna cross the ankles and come through to seated. Then all the way onto the back. And then right into a reclined pigeon. So take your time getting there. Crossing the right ankle over the left, threading the needle. You can do this all in your own time. You know what to do here. You can rock a little side to side. You can relax the shoulders and enjoy this time on your mat. We're almost done with our practice today, so really relish with some nice yummy breaths here. And then return to the mantra, which is really what this whole yoga camp is about today. It is my goal to infuse a practice, not just in the physical body, but in the mind, so that we can start loving ourselves again, so we can make self-love cool again. Keep squeezing the legs up towards your heart. Now that might sound stupid to you and maybe it is stupid, but I don't think so. I think we need it and I think that yoga is a great place to practice that sort of thing. So repeat the mantra, I love myself. And even if you don't feel it or don't believe it, maybe you've been struggling with that Maybe you've been struggling with that for a long time. Say it anyway. I love myself. Release the legs, take it to the other side. Even if you don't believe it, say it loud and proud. 
you know, something to that age-old wisdom. I like the way RuPaul says it, right? If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love someone else? Amen. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So squeeze the legs up in towards your heart. Just releasing here. It should feel really good. And say it again. Maybe you close your eyes. Maybe you open your eyes up towards the ceiling and just drop your shoulders and say it to yourself, my friend. Whether you believe it or not, I love myself. This is what yoga camp is all about. A practice. Practice of self-love, slowly release the legs. <clears throat> Center yourself on the mat. Draw your left hand to your heart, your right hand to your belly, and slide the legs out long. One last time, take a deep breath in. Big breath out. And just have a little heart-to-heart -heart moment with yourself. I'm serious. Do it. This is the moment. Say the mantra, I love myself. And notice how that makes you feel. <laughs> Getting a little emotional already. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope that you take this mantra with you off the mat and into the rest of the day, even if it is just as an experiment, right? Prove me wrong. Tell me it's stupid. Tell me it didn't work. But my guess is that um, you'll be able to find something, something that serves you, right? Take what serves you, leave behind what doesn't. Way to rock it out, my yogi friends. Big day tomorrow. See you then. Namaste.